Wow, another Disney flop. Imagine my shock. Sarcasm was heavily implied there. So it turns out that Woke SAW Disney's newest remake of a remake of a ride apparently they had on, on a Disney World is going to flop at the box office. I mean... I mean, if that's a surprise to anybody, then you've been living under a rock because Disney uh, has been having flop after flop after flop for the past year. <laughs> Even more than that, to be honest. Um, this time, their Haunted Mansion remake of a remake of a, of a ride. You know, apparently. I mean, he's like, basically, they're, re they're resorting to remakes and, and sequels and everything else because, well, they're bereft of any kind of creativity whatsoever. It says here on uh, We Got Discovered, Disney's dire year at the box office continues with its latest $150 million flop bombing even harder than expected. Wow. Disney movies bombing are now just the exception, not the rule. No kidding. They went from being the kings of entertainment to now busy staggering from bomb after bomb. To, to busy from but one bomb to the next, I'll put it that way. It says in the article, in a turn uh, for the books, in what would have sounded like borderline unthinkable as recently as last year, the big budget Disney, a big budget Disney movie is not bombing at the box office, or sorry, not bombing at the box office now appears to be the exception and not the rule, with Haunted Mansion failing to even match pre-release expectations that weren't already all that great to begin with. Uh, James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 has been one bright spot amidst a, a basically this sea of disappointments and outright does with the likes of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Elemental, Indiana Jones, The Dial of Destiny, and Little Mermaid all failing short of what they need to from a commercial perspective and it's not really a shock that a Halloween themed movie releasing at the end of July is set to follow suit. Yeah, I mean, aside from the fact that Halloween is just a, a holiday glorifying witchcraft and Satanism and Illuminati, you know, you know Illuminati ideology. Uh, Halloween movie in July. Yeah, that, that's a great idea middle of summer <laughs> continuing on in the article uh per the latest projections haunted mansion is on course to to end the weekend with a haul of under 25 million dire news for a production that carries an estimated price tag of 157 million director justin simon has been doing his best to promote the film as he can but even he knows it's fighting it's he's been fighting an uphill battle with writers and actors both on strike and refusing to acknowledge their most recent contributions to the industry yeah they're contributions which is basically just you know ruining just basically woke SAW ideology I don't need to get more into that but continuing on in the article that being said ever since Haunted Mansion was first announced questions have been asked to why the mouse felt the need to mount a lavish star subtle and vastly expensive reboot of a 20 year old Eddie Murphy vehicle that wasn't all that popular to begin with especially when so many of its uh, named sort of theme park inspired features have done nothing but tank Unfortunately, uh, the invocation of Jack Sparrow's Pirates of the Caribbean is already decomposing faster than his latest flicks, uh, Titular Ghouls. Yeah, doing a ride in the theme park, which by the way, the theme parks are failing too. I mean, they're failing on all fronts, really. Cruise lines are failing, theme parks are failing, movies bombing at the box office. You know, nothing good whatsoever. And, you know, like the article pointed out, it used to be that they'd have successes and a few bombs here and there. Now it's like if they even break even, it's the exception rather than the rule. Plain and simple. The woke SAW Disney's been failing on all fronts, and in many ways they brought it upon themselves. See, there should be, a, just like how there should be a separation of religion and state, there should be a separation of political ideology of any type, and just, you know, entertainment. Because you go to the movies to escape the insanity of everyday politics, especially in America. I mean, over here in Canada, it's like a mental illness on steroids. But the point is, is that Disney brought this upon themselves. Woke SAW Disney has failed to learn you go woke, you go broke. You know, even a film that doesn't look like it's woke, it's bombing just because of the fact that Disney tarnished their image. Plain and simple. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.